Hey guys, I'm back again. I got got time to do some flint napping, so I figure I might as well make a few videos. So, and I'm having a ball with this uh, Flint River material that I got heat treated. This stuff's really, really nice. The heat treat is nearly perfect on it for what I like. It got uh, three eight. 385 for uh, 12 hours. It did pretty good. So I got some pieces, kind of the thinner, more delicate stuff knocked off the spall. And, uh, that's kind of what I'm left with. Fairly thin piece to begin with. So I just need to really knock some thinning flakes in here and remove this rest of this cortex. Kind of level this off. I'll probably end up losing a little bit of this area right in here. But I'm thinking about making some kind of Thebes. I'm not sure. Although I should probably go ahead and make my mind up. Just trying to level that off there. Didn't like that cortex a bit. I want to kind of make these count and get them to undercut some of that material if I can. This big flat area here, I can't hit that. That's way too stout. That, that would go in there and I'm not sure what it would do, but it wouldn't be good. So I need to trim that down a little bit. Pretty right underneath that cortex. Getting ready to hit that, but I can bring it in a little bit. I'm going to lose that anyway. If I try to rock it one in there from way out here, it's probably going to run out of energy by the time it gets to that obstacle. Oh, no, I 
got a little closer to it though. Put a little heat on it. Got it. A little surface support ran right right through that one. That stuff there. So hard to capture that stuff right under the cortex on the finish point. I have to work all the way to this side and wait till the very end to clear that off there. Got almost too straight in on that one. Almost put a crack in it. Pretty steep. Pretty steep right there. I don't know if I should hit that or not. It might go through there and clear it all off, but it'd be risky. Lower it down a little bit. Mercy. Trying to just skim it off there so I can try to keep some of that. See how pretty that is, right? Okay, now I should be able to get knock that right out of there. All right, straight out of there. Yeah. All right, straight out of there. She got to make her appearance. Every video. No, you better not lay down right there. Go on. Let's get out of So where are we at? What am I doing? Made me lose focus, cat. Hey, quit! You tearing up my dang book? You kidding me? Psst, go on. Get! Stubborn thing. <laughs> Honoring. All right, I'm going after this right here. What are you doing? up there, Junior. You can have that. It's a horseshoe nail. Don't eat it. You're in one of them moods, aren't you? 
I can already tell it's going to be a rough night. Usually gets the zoomies about 3.30 in the morning. And you're running around and wake up thinking somebody's trying to rob me or something. She got a plastic grocery bag stuck on her head the other night and was bouncing off the walls. I woke up, sound like somebody was just running through here. I mean, it was ridiculous. I turned the lights on and she was bouncing around. Oh man, I was laughing. You couldn't get that bag off your head, could you? <laughs> Too funny. Too funny. Pretty square edge there. I'd like it to be a little less than 90. So in order to get that angle to be less steep, I'll just take a flake back right off the corner here. Break that back. And it's almost enough. I could probably make contact right there. Yeah. Awesome. I took some of that extra stoutness off of that platform. Okay, now that I've got this halfway decently flattened out, I do want to turn and start working my way back just in case I can capture any of that. I should probably just not worry about it. I'll end up messing it up, trying to chase that color, but it's like I'll have a little bit of something in there. There's something going on inside here too, like a little bullseye. Ain't it? Where'd it go? 
ain't gonna matter. It broke. There's a Hertzine cone, surface cone going in right there. It's probably what did it. I mean, I did it, but that's where it broke. Cause a little weak spot. Hit a little too high up on my edge there. Had my edge ground a little too much and it had damage on it. I think that's where I hit right there. Mm. That kind of stinks. Wasn't supporting it quite well enough either. Mm, what else we got in here? I got this little bi face here I was working on a little bit. Wide right now. Probably bring it in a little bit. do a Snyder's point out of that. Break it again. Getting my edges to uh, ground. Putting too much pressure on these pieces. Making them fold. really been trying to refine my edges more and more and uh, be more gentle on the stone so to speak because when I was first started learning direct percussion man I speed balls and everything else trying to get them going but uh, speed I don't know why I said speed balls <laughs> um <laughs> Oh, that's funny. Anyhow, um, yeah, I've been being a little, a little hasty with my direct percussion, and I'm hitting edges and messing them all up, and it's causing me a lot of problems, it's causing me to break a lot of stuff, and so I gotta, I kind of got it, getting it figured out now, the edges that I need to hit, and what a good platform is, and how to build it and what it looks like and <clears throat> so there's really no excuse for me to not be doing a little more preparation on my edges and being a little bit more tidy about it I feel like I'm kind of setting a bad example with you guys watching me wail away on this stuff on cracked edges and edges that are too high and you can't do any of this direct percussion that I'm doing like right now without this hand is doing more than this hand with this support. It just doesn't work without it. There I go. Running my jaw. That's what I get.
think I can bring this thing around. Tip out. One more. Two more. Okay, getting closer. I think there might be a little crack right there. I'm not sure. Yeah, there sure is. So, let me see. Let me get that off there. some pressure now. All I do here is just shake this. What are you doing? You better get out of there. Got my cooker. Put the lid on and have you for dinner. in the top of my hand and it started bleeding.
all I wanted. I'm going to go around and kind of liven up these edges a little bit if I want to do anything with that antler. I was going crazy with my abrader. Easy does it. Take some flakes back this way. Right here. Get me some regular leather without dye in it. I hate this thing stains my hands. It's black leather. up a little bit.
flake right past that crack and forgot all about that thing. Probably go ahead and notch it, make sure I don't blow it in half when I'm notching it or something, get all this work into it. Pressure work. I guess it's good for you guys to see this, though, because I don't show a lot of this finish work. I haven't done a whole lot of it, to be honest. Here recently, I've been doing it. With antler, anyways. It can really pretty them up. Tell you what. All right, let's see if we can get some notches in it. I'm gonna go ahead and try to do this all with a horseshoe nail. in there and dress it up a little bit with a pressure flaker or something. this notch in there what I want to concentrate on doing down on this side of the notch is building my stem and I want my stem to have a sweep coming up like this and then on this side you want to do the same thing you want to concentrate on which usually once you work your way in you can kind of work this back off to get this right this top edge I concentrate on my stem when I'm working in blow too much of your barb off there either though what you're kidding me are you serious 
really. I didn't know they come that big. Talking about them big mice. How big was he? Walked out the door while I go, and she had three of them laying there right in front of the door. Three mice. They must have been three blind mice. You call three of them. Didn't sound quite right. This nail here is kind of flattened out on me. Just gonna get a little bit cleaner one, a finer tip. And get right down in there. Almost got my barb. Okay, I gotta get in there. I knew that was gonna have to open up a little bit more anyways. Oh, not that much. Not that much. been kind of tending to this top edge of the notch the whole time. Keep working it up in there. Now I can come in here and just kind of give this a little bit of a curve and it'll be okay. Kind of wish I wouldn't have lost that, but what I can probably do is round this ear down a little bit and make this thing look look a lot better but I'm just gonna try to match what I got over there now with over here now, this one will go perfect watch never fails Kind of need to mess up a little bit to make it match the other one. There, I blew a little bit of my base off here. <laughs> uh, 
That was a really short flake come out of there. Okay. I guess I kind of did the opposite. I was talking about tending to my edge on the bottom of the notch. More so on the top. I kind of lost control of the bottom side over here. I think it's still got to come way on over. quite yet. I don't want to stall it out at all, really. There we go. Could bring this other edge in. stalled it quite yet that'll help I think the same thing happened on the other side right about this point you got your rail your flake in there Really? Man, I'll be surprised if that didn't put a crack in it. It's that little flake in there is stealing all my juice. It's stealing all my energy. Get out of there. We don't like you here. Get another one in there. I gotta straighten this base up, it's gonna drive me crazy.
Bring this thing way on it. Looks like I need some more. A little more on my notch there too. What do I got going on here? Get a little flake right in there. coming around there now. I'm gonna have to get another punch flake in there. That's all there is to it. Unless you guys see something that I don't. I hear you over there. Give me a minute. In and out. In and out. Okay, I'm gonna have to get in there with some other tool. Maybe this little welding rod right here will work. That's better, I think. 
quite a bit better. One more touch up. This thing will be looking pretty good. Need to open this up a little bit more in here. Come on, it ain't that bad. All right, guys. You let the cat out before she has a conniption. There you go, Snyder's Point from uh, Flint River Church. Oh, I know. <laughs> Alright guys, hope you enjoyed that and catch y'all in the next one.